And we're back in Europe again. It's been a long time. Welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is week in country number 43 on our second attempt of cooking the food of every country in the world. And tonight we're up to the nation of Croatia. Croatia is a Balkan state located in Central Eastern Europe on the Mediterranean Sea across from Italy. It shares borders with several of its former Yugoslav neighbors including Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Montenegro and Slovenia as well as Hungary. It has a vast cuisine, several different cuisines in one country specifically, and there's no way we could possibly cover them all in one night. However, we're just going to give it a shot. Tonight we're doing the same three dishes we did last time, and those are a Croatian octopus salad, pasticada, or a Dalmatian pot roast, and blitva, a Croatian potato and green side dish. So before we go any further, let's take a look and see how things went last time we tried this. Well, four years ago on the Global Cooking Challenge, I was challenged by a number of things, including finding one specific ingredient we'll talk about a little bit later. Also, I wasn't really sure about the differences between baby octopus and full-size octopus. More on that later. Still, it came out rather well. The octopus salad I really enjoyed, the blitva was very nice, and the pot roast was okay, even though I really didn't understand the whole concept of reducing that sauce properly. This time, I'm gonna try to improve on that with four years of knowledge that we've acquired in the meantime. Ingredient Ingredient note, that thing I was talking about before I couldn't find, it's a particular ingredient used in the blitva. It's very common in Croatia and it's called vegeta. It is a seasoning mix made with carrots and onions and other spices and a little bit of MSG. It's super tasty and you may be able to find it if you are somewhere near a market that caters to a Central Eastern European audience. Or you can buy it online. So let's take a look at tonight's ingredients. First, for our Dalmatian pot roast, we'll need two pounds of top round steak, three onions sliced, three tablespoons of chopped rosemary, and a bottle of red wine, plus one cup of dessert wine, preferably Croatian Prosec, not Prosecco, one eight ounce can of tomato paste, three ounces of pitted dried prunes or plums, two tablespoons of olive oil, one bay leaf, three to four whole cloves, four garlic cloves cut into sticks, three to four large carrots sliced, and salt and pepper to taste. For the Croatian octopus salad, we'll need one whole octopus, fresh or frozen, plus one red onion chopped, two tomatoes seeded and diced, one clove of garlic minced, the juice of one lemon, two to three tablespoons of chopped parsley, two tablespoons of capers, red wine vinegar to taste, olive oil to taste, and salt and pepper to taste. Then for the blitva, or Croatian potatoes and greens, we'll need one bunch of Swiss chard, rinsed, stemmed removed and torn into large pieces. Two medium potatoes, peeled and cut into half-inch cubes, about three tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of vegeta seasoning, that's vegeta seasoning, and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Word to the wise though, not only do two of these dishes take all day to cook, the meat requires it to be prepped and soaked the night before, so give yourself a ton of time if you're gonna try this. But the results may be worth it. So let's see how things went. Let's get into that Wayback Machine and get started. Go! The night before, place the meat in a large bowl, add the sliced onions, chopped rosemary, and red wine. Combine, cover and refrigerate overnight. The next day, remove from the fridge, remove the meat from the marinade, cut slits one inch apart into the steak. Place a stick of garlic into each slit. Repeat until the garlic is used up. Heat olive oil in a skillet over medium heat. Brown the steak on all sides. Meanwhile, place the marinade in a large pot. Add tomato paste, add carrots, and when the beef is finished browning, add that to the pot. Combine and submerge the meat. Boil for 15 minutes, stirring as needed. Add the dessert wine, dried plums or prunes, bay leaf, cloves, and salt and pepper. Stir to combine and let simmer for three hours. Add water as needed. Remove meat from pot and move to a cutting board. Cut into slices. Defrost the octopus in the fridge overnight if frozen. Place the octopus in a sealed plastic bag. Pound with a mallet until tender. Move to a bowl. Place the octopus in a large saucepan. Barely cover with water. Bring it to a boil, lower the heat, and let simmer for three hours. 
Remove the pot from the heat and let it cool. Drain. Cut the octopus into one inch pieces. Place the octopus pieces in a salad bowl. Add the chopped red onion, diced tomato, olive oil, red wine vinegar, lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic, chopped parsley, and capers. Toss, cover, and refrigerate until dinner. Bring a pot of water to a boil, add the Swiss chard, add the potatoes, let boil for 10 minutes. Drain and move to a large bowl. Season with vegeta, add salt and pepper as needed, and olive oil, and stir to combine. Scoop the salad into salad bowls, plate servings of the beef, ladle the sauce on top, scoop servings of the blitva alongside. Wipe plates and serve. How did it all turn out? Well, let's start with the octopus salad. It was truly delicious, had nice balance of flavors, nice crunch from those onions, a little bit of saltiness from the capers, the lemon juice gave it a nice bit of acid, and the octopus was cooked perfectly. Only problem was, not having a whole lot of experience with cooking full-size octopus, I didn't buy enough of it. I bought a relatively small one, and, and when it cooked down, it became even less. So I'd happily try it again, only I'd buy a much bigger octopus or a couple of them. For that reason, I'm giving the Croatian octopus salad four out of five globes. I really do have to try that again to get it up to five. As for the blitva, it was very fast to prepare. I should have really cut those leaves a little bit smaller so that they would have been distributed more evenly throughout the dish. Also, I should have really known that the vegeta had salt in it, so when I added salt in later, it made it a little bit too salty. Still, aside from that seasoning, it was phenomenal. It tasted really great. It was a quick, easy side dish. I'm giving the blitva four out of five globes. And lastly, that Dalmatian pot roast. It took forever, I had to cook it the night before, it had to be on the stove all day, but still, it reduced perfectly the combination of the sweetness of those plums with those carrots and the onions, and the meat was nice and juicy and tender, and the sauce was perfectly reduced. I'm giving the Dalmatian pot roast 5 out of 5 globes. Stupendous. I'd happily make it for a dinner party. So that does it for Croatia. Remember, links to the original recipes can be found in the About section below. And if you'd like to see these live streams, and they happen every Tuesday night, be be sure to follow us on Periscope or Busker. Like and subscribe if you'd like to be advised when these videos are posted every Wednesday night. And if you have any thoughtful feelings or helpful comments about the food of Croatia or any of our future nations, sound off in the comments. And tune in next time when we head over to the Caribbean to do a nation that is near and dear to my heart and upbringing and one that I sadly really screwed up when you tried it last time, and that is Cuba. It should be very exciting. I'm looking for redemption. Thanks for watching and have Happy eating!